what happened that night science made its greatest mistake what unknown terror was born that night what is the terrifying mutant that strikes from behind the shroud of night. That night. That night of the Lepus. A night of total terror. More shattering than your strangest nightmare. What caused the unnatural death, destruction, and panic that night of the Lepus? Janet Lee, Stuart Whitman, Rory Calhoun, and Paul Fix. Night of the Lepus. Kill one, and thousands take their place. What devil creatures growing weight and size every day are hidden behind the eyes of horror? What can stop them? Night of the Lepus from MGM. Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that happens every Saturday right here at this location, wherever you found us, on the internets, Boy, where we you? watch a movie and then we talk about it for your enjoyment. I'm Colin, I'm your host, I'm surrounded by a bunch of internet radio superstars, including Tom, Travis, Sean, and tonight we watched Sean's pick... Night of the Lepus. From the year... 1972. Directed by... Who? Uh, <laughs> fix, wait, hold on. Uh, so Stony R. Braxton. Bra- uh, yeah, it's, well, Brix, it's Brixton or something like that. It's something close. You've never heard of anyone in this movie, except Most for Janet well, Lee. No, no, it's, no, 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 it stars Janet Lee, uh, DeForest Kelly, and uh, Rory Calhoun yeah. from a bunch of westerns. And Stuart Whitman. Yeah, you're the only one who knows that <laughs> one. Stuart, is that the guy from Motel Hell? No, yeah. Rory Calhoun. Rory the Calhoun, the the farmer. Yeah. 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 Meats, know. meat, man's got to eat. Bones. You yeah, bones. Lee yeah, you know Janet Lee. Yeah, Janet Lee is from Psycho. She she got moitered in the shower. In the shower. Uh, she's Marion Crane. Yeah, she's the uh, the car. Yeah. So she, everybody's like, "What the fuck is a lepus?" Is she the young a lepus? Is the scientific Latin definition of bunny rabbit? <laughs> it really is bunny rabbit. Night of the bunny rabbits. Night of the bunny rabbits. All right, so that's the thing. When when somebody shows up at a drive-in late in a movie and says, "There's killer rabbits coming," a herd of killer rabbits. I think the thing that they miss, uh, including in that statement, and we should, probably should too, is that these are giant. Killer rabbits. Yes. <laughs> they're not just killer rabbits, or else that wouldn't be so frightening. Right. Yeah, at least. I mean, but they're not like. A bigger doesn't really make them frightening, they're, though. They're, I would they're say. giant as in they're not the size movie. of like wolves. They're not. But like, they get bigger. Yeah, they're like bears. They're like bears. They're like bears. They're like bear sized bunny rabbits. Yeah. But it's hard to tell because, like, like, in this movie, giant sometimes. Eel monster there's no monster. There's no human comparison, really, for the movie. I mean, besides when they're doing the close up fighting. Yeah, and that's when they're kind of smaller. In the cave, they say it's the biggest wolves, but, like, there's some scenes where it's just like, what are you talking about, biggest wolves? Those things are fucking elephant size. <laughs> right? What are you talking about? Yeah. But I don't know if that's something they were supposed to talk about at some point in time that they're growing a, bigger. I, mm. I just think it's just a shitty model work. <laughs> No, oh, actually, that's great model no, work. Yeah, the miniatures well, no, and the models I mean, are, I mean, I mean, like that might be the, the best mi- part. The, the yeah. mi- miniature work is done in, in a weird, you know, like the size. Sometimes the model work matches up to sh- really show how big they are, and sometimes, like sometimes, the model work makes them seem bigger than what they should be and sometimes they're smaller than what they should be it depends on what shots they're yeah it just depends on what they're doing yeah the sometimes they're in a store sometimes they're out in the streets so, so, you know sometimes they they when they're in the store they don't look that big but when they're out in the streets they look a lot bigger so but when they're in the wilderness they look kind of small so it's just kind of yeah so you may ask how do bunnies become so giant well it's simple goddamn kids 
Hold on. Got, well, yeah. It's gotcha. a mysterious <laughs> hormone just sent in by a doctor. Yeah, so what the hell? I'm still like trying to like remember like how exactly they're, they're trying to there's a there's a farmer so, that Calhoun yeah. dude from Calhoun's, Hotel Hell. He's yeah, a he's rancher the farmer, guy. He's the rancher and he's having a problem with rabbits. The rabbit Obviously, war yeah. of the nineteen seventies, apparently. War. As the old war in footage Arizona. showed us. <laughs> And so uh, they talked to a couple scientists to try and, you know, it's like, come up, that take a look at them. Yeah the, yeah, the young couple of Janet Lee <laughs> and Whitman. Yeah, Janet really, Lee has white really hair. She's got to be yeah, 40 30. something. Yeah. Only really 43. The young, couple. 40. <laughs> the young couple. But they go to them to try and figure out, you know, a way to stop all this and so they don't have to... Uh, Poison the ecosystem and uh, destroy half of his ecosystem. On his yeah, because that's that's like the big part of this movie, right? That's the big like like uh, n- uh, nature like story is the idea that everything's in its ecosystem. I mean, if you is- and if you just like take this away, then this will pl- run, run rampant. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Run rampant. And so the rabbits are running rampant, and so they. They get this hormone. They capture a couple of them, and the scientist does some experiments on them. They get this hormone from... We, we don't, don't know. know. Some doctor sends it. It's a doctor. That he sent it in this morning. It's in a test tube. And if this does... That screams What I hope it does... <laughs> that's like... <laughs> that's the explanation I wish I knew what the reactions to this serum yeah. were going to be, but... Fuck it. Uh, yeah, but then there's the... If if one of these rabbits with this serum, serum should get out, heaven help us. <laughs> like, what, what kind of experiment... <laughs> Are you doing? Well, they're like trying to. Well, they're know. trying to like fuck with their hormones, trying to like right, basically to, give them all sex changes. Basically, yeah. It's so they stop reading. Somehow this relates into like uh, growing huge. The hormones make them grow big. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hormones do. They do. Yeah, they make you grow big. It should have been like the Nutty Professor, where they just turned into cooler rabbits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just same rabbits, just with sunglasses. Yeah, that would have been fucking good. dicks. Yeah, and then it does all come down to those damn kids, because the one kid in the movie, the little girl of like ten. She wants to take a... Uh, it's the scientist's own fucking daughter. That's yeah. what really makes me mad. I want to take a rabbit home. I want to take one of your science fucking <laughs> projects home. Well, we can't put all okay. the blame on her. There's that asshole other kid who's just like, no, get rid of it, put it away. Well, but she like, did, like, it change away. it. They understood. She, wa- she, she did. should be around... She's been around scientist parents for 10 years right. at least yeah. now. She sees them inject this thing with this ultra-rare. They explain what is a controlled and yeah. a non-controlled. Yeah. She's there. They explain it. And then she's like, benefit. you know, what I'm gonna fuck their experiment by just taking this rabbit and putting it in the non control or in the whatever in the, the, the yeah. yeah. But then when can I, I ask for one? can I have one, they let me take the fucking one. I just switch. It's just like why would you? Ugh, that's the dumbest thing. That should be how like Spider Man happens, right? That should be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn kids. So the rabbits get out into the wild and multiply. Multiply like, like, like rabbits do. do. Like into rabbits, giant uh, giant rabbits, and giant so then it rabbits. becomes like eventually we got to bring in the national guard and all that to deal with it. Oh, it's great, great stuff. Eventually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so I there's all these people running way. around in this movie, but like, there's not really like any kind of character types. I mean, they're just like nah. it's Stuart Whitman and Janet Lee. And DeForest Kelly. They're all like, just like information towards them. it. They're all like, we're going to meet at this street. It's like watching like a modern day like cop show, right? You just like get in the scene. You just say like, here's the lab test. Here's where we're going to meet. All right, I'll meet you there. Take the helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very it's very reminiscent of like the, the sci-fi movies of like the, you know, the 50s and 60s. Like when we did like the those old sci-fi movies where it's like... They would sit down, something would happen, and then you'd have someone, a scientist, sit down and explain why this is happening, which, in this case, it did multiple times. Yes. Except the one time with the scientist, he's like, why are they so big? Are they vampires? They could be vampires! <laughs> <laughs> there really was an option there for about a minute or two. But you know what no, they no, think they are? About, I think they're saber-toothed tigers! You're talking about the forensic <laughs> scientist that explains to the cops what he's about to do and what they came there for. You know, <laughs> he's like, by looking into these microscopes, we can look at the world in a different light and help study who... It's just like, oh my Take god. Take a look right? yourself. <laughs> It's just like that's when it's like yeah they, like there's no character in this whole movie. I think there's like one scene where the guy's like, 
oh, me and the wife will love that. And he, like, smiles. I'm like, oh, my God. Someone, like, broke some character into this motherfucker. Someone just didn't have information to relay. Yeah. It was really just like, he's going to enjoy, like, visiting him at the, at the cabin or at the ranch that year or whatever. That's what I like, Are they populating this with character actors or movie stars? It's like, as Ooh, long as shit, you have what? somebody Ooh. in movie there. Movie stars? Well, I mean, we're talking Janet time. Lee. We're talking. We're talking. These people—they're all kind like, of slumming it. At the, at the in the seventies, I think that. But were for people. being the the B horror movie people, you know, Those just are like the same way and stuff. I mean, like I don't know if they were in <sighs> horror movies so much. Well, I thought that's what Janet Lee. I mean, aside from Psycho, yeah, but she Manchurian was Manchurian Candidate and uh, on some other prestige films that she was in. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, for his biggest name as we remember her being. I remember her Psycho and... See, I don't recall her being a big Man, name. I remember about, her just being it. a scream queen. She was just like, eh, fucking have this girl up, pick her up, and like, scream your head off, you know? I think that Not was, like she yeah, was I in one she, of those. I but. think that was just for Psycho, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I mean, she was I've in never, other horror movies. I know John Carpenter put her and her daughter in The Fog, but that was, you know, like the guy who had grown up watching sure. these early things. But yeah, I mean, I guess like Tom was saying, it does have like this, you know, it feels like, because uh, when it when it started, I'm like, okay, so this is one of those like when nature attacks movies that came out in the wake of Jaws, because Jaws was 75 and, you know, then you had like Grizzly and no, you had no, King this, of the Spiders this is, and you this had... Is, uh, this isn't one of those movies. No, because it, this was made, it predates Jaws, this, this, it was made in 1972. Feel, this movie feels more like along the lines of like... Them? It's Atomic like, Monster movie. Yeah, this, yeah, this is like a giant the bad heel monster. Okay, type. Earth vs. Spider, The Deadly Manus. Yeah, Deadly Manus is great. It's, Tarantula. it's those it's giant heel monster movies of like the 50s. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, after finding out what year it was made, I think that, you know, I was like, oh, that's that's what the like tradition it's, it's, is. It's style, it's pacing, it's character development. It's very much like a 50s sci-fi movie. The way there's no characters, the way the scientists sit down there and go like, it's important, we can't do this because the ecosystem, you got to have balance in the ecosystem. You can't just wop the rabbits out because if you wop the rabbits out, then there's no balance. The grasshoppers will take over. The grasshoppers will take over. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, it's I think just maybe like, that's what makes the difference then between like, so Jaws actually belongs to like, in like the cinematic lineage, like the birds, where like, it's just this thing shows up and then, Jaws you know. is about a family, man. <laughs> <That's a fucking laughs> but they don't explain man. the shark. I mean, the shark just shows up. Like right. in the birds, the, the birds just yeah, the happen. birds just show up. They don't. They don't have a scientific ex- in the in in the birds. They never have a scientific explanation right. about why the birds are attacking. Right. Or Jaws. Jaws. Like if you read the book, Jaws is about how the mayor actually owes the mob money. That's why he doesn't want to shut down the beaches. I mean, you get a little bit more in depth with that shit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but I mean, they but then don't, for some reason, Sheriff Brody's like wife the, like cheats on him with the oceanographer. Yeah, that's but they, what, like, they didn't put in the movie. Huh? That's a big part of read the book. The book yeah, like oh, the book is opera. way different. Yeah. 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 It's not an adventure movie like the... Uh, no. It's not about the I've shark been, at all. I, I flipped through some of it, but yeah. The shark, shark is not bad. Shark it's still a pretty good book, though. It's short it kills, book. it kills Quint and then swims away. And that's the end. Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's the difference. It's like these ones set it up that they have to explain like or come up with some <laughs> kind of kooky scientific reasoning yeah. for the thing being there. Here's the reason why we fucked with something. You know, we split the atom or whatever, yeah. and because of our meddling, we made nature. Attack. Oh, and this is also based off a book called Night of the Angry Rabbits. It was year. The year of the, year year of the, angry, year rabbits. Rabbits. Yes. the angry Rabbits. Year of the Angry Rabbits. Year of the Angry Rabbits. And the stuff that, that came after Jaws, though, I mean, like, when you see, I don't know, have you seen Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner? No. I think it no. takes place in Arizona, too. That's why it's like the, the landscape of this, you know, with everybody's wearing cowboy hats and the style of dress and all that. It feels like Kingdom of the Spiders. And that one, I don't think, has any kind of... That's the post-Jaws thing where, like, nature just attacks. You know, like the grizzly... The, no, they're just no. a bunch of tarantulas. <laughs> killer. Killer tarantulas. That one. Giant? No. No. Just, but that's... Uh, there's Empire the swarm. The, ants. the swarm was ants. the uh, biologically engineered uh, military uh, wasps or whatever. Right. Or the Food swarm. The gods who've got some kind of chemical, I think, that turns... Yeah, but see, like, like, then you got, like, a movie like Arachnophobia, all... which is actually, like, a good one. That's more of a, like, a comedy. Yeah, movie. but that's from the 90s. I mean, yeah. it's not from that era, you know? It's... 
it's like you know just in after jaws it seemed like they were doing all sorts of like nature attacks movies i mean wasn't that where like frogs comes from and i'm uh, sure like, ants uh, slugs you ever see squirm? ants squirm ants mm-hmm. bug Bug. Bug. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a weird anomaly from the 70s. It's a reject left over from like the 50s movies, like them and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the one idea that was left on the board for the 50s science fiction movies, and they're like, I just we couldn't think, really figure out how to do that one. Uh, <laughs> I just think that, what do you think? That composite special effect was just like, I mean, it was just like the shit from the 50s into the 80s, right? I mean, they're just like, fuck it, anyone can do this. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it became, you're like, 60 foot women and like killer bunnies and yeah. <laughs> like anything you could make huge and like <laughs> well that's like the supreme miscalculation of this movie I think and you know like I looked it up on the IMDB and it had it had a rating I think of like a half star so yeah. I'm like yeah. man we're gonna be in for some awesome yeah. <laughs> and then watching it I'm like it's a competently made movie is it I thought, you know, I mean, the the model work made, yes, is, acted and other such. Maybe yeah, not, the model work made. was good. I yeah, will say that. Model work was good. The model but like um, for, as a movie itself, no. But I mean, the 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 it was pretty well straightforward. Like the players were all. I mean, it's it's a sufficient movie. You know, it's not it's not like doing anything to distinguish itself. But I wouldn't say it's like failing miserably all over the place. And, you know, like I've seen some bad, I mean, like the giant Gila monster is a bad movie. Where like yeah, the yeah, special yeah. effects are terrible. The scenario is terrible. Like Sharknado was a bad movie. Yeah. It's an it's a, it's a incompetent movie. Yeah, where it's like they couldn't actually do it. This is like when you see the special effects, it's like they're not awful. And some of them are actually kind of, you know, endearing well, in the little well, miniature well, the word. The problem is, is like, it's just they just fucking. They, they just show the shot of, like, the same... They got, like, five shots of, like, rabbits running. And they just keep showing. It's There's never, like, any shot of, like... You know, it's just a shot of mo- rabbits being herded on a miniature set. And then close-ups of rabbits' faces. Which, when right? I first saw this as a child, it, like, it thrilled me. Right? And then, yeah. the it's scene just with like... Janet Lee and the flare, and it's just showing close-ups of what going to all the eyes of the yeah. rabbit. That's the one that sticks out in my head from being a kid. You know? so, oh, and and there, there, there is a few Gross. instances where somebody gets attacked by a rabbit, which yeah. is obviously a dude in, like, a suit. Well, yeah, he's like well, a rabbit in, like, suit. Super close-up, right? Super you just see, close. like, the guy's yeah. face and some kind of furry thing. Like, like, yeah, like you know, clock someone. Yeah. He's yeah. a right hook. Right? Yeah, he really does. <laughs> <laughs> I love all that so, stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that stuff was fun. I just it thought is. the script had like no heart. Like yeah. it didn't even try to make a joke. It didn't like try no, to make was like dead serious. It was just very movie. like, well, that is a problem. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. I would re- certainly appreciate it. All right. Well, I'll meet I'd you down there about today. two p.m. <laughs> it was just very so straightforward. Yeah, like right. yeah. Jesus Christ, right down the line. But I think this movie is. This movie is from like the the seventies era of it feels like it be- belongs in like a drive-in movie, theme. like would be like your it's a perfect drive-in movie. late night, like the last movie of the night. You know, you're three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Dr- movie. The crowd is full of people who. Like I haven't seen this they're, movie. They're this either is... fucking or they're high or drunk or stuff. They're not. They're not watching the movie until they're, they see giant rabbits. There actually is a scene that takes place in a drive-in theater <laughs> in this drive-in movie, and it's probably the most ridiculous one in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Attention, everybody! Around. There's a herd of giant killer rabbits headed oh, this way. Oh, just yeah. killer rabbits. Just, Sorry, they're not giant. Killer rabbits. Headed, do not panic. Everybody, Everybody's like, all right. Yeah, Everybody roll up here. your windows. Yeah. Sheriff said so. We're going to use you to herd the animals this way. Yeah, that was weird, right? That's, it's that's, like, that's what they did. They what? recruited the people at the drive-in yeah. to help them out. And we're they were going to use you all as bait? Herd the rabbits? <laughs> honk Electrify if you the, Everyone uh, honked. I'm so fucking pissed. I swear to God we saw a miniature train. I was like, dude. If you see a miniature train, you expect that miniature to be destroyed or knocked over at some point <laughs> in time by giant, giant fucking rabbits. rabbits. <laughs> Not happen. Right? I was very. I was like, what the, the side fuck? That's the one thing this movie had to do. Yeah. Knock over a fucking train. Yeah, right. it was disappointing. I or think a fight with a helicopter. Yeah, like, yeah, they should have like destroyed too. some buildings, right? 
Some I mean, <laughs> like Cena, because we saw the aftermath of like shit, and but no actual like them taking down a building. Yeah, no, I mean, they like just, go through some windows. They yeah. just got actual rabbits, mm-hmm. like well, funny, fun. cute, cute, cute rabbits. Cute, yeah. Yeah. Cute, cute just rabbits. put them on a set, and then there's probably some guy going like <laughs> finding a way to shoe them, and then they film that. It yeah, was cool though. I like it. Yeah, and there were like squibs or something going off. That like, was weird. Because whenever right? anybody's shooting shotguns at these rabbits, you're seeing like this the blood explosions. The red paint. Well, They're one I saw, you could tell it was flying. a like a like a stuffed rabbit. Right. One yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, every, all covered in like blood. There, there was this couple shots where like especially when they're in the cave and they first see the rabbits, you know they're. There's mostly the the cute funny bunny rabbits, but they must have found a couple like mean looking ones with like one thing at the mouth, right? Or <laughs> oh, the ones that are just showing their teeth like. like <laughs> uh, they found like they're the mean looking rabbits, or they found like uh, you a know, mean like a rabbit, like a model rabbit or something, a model <laughs> fake one. <laughs> well, uh, Jessica I rabbit. Oh yeah, too, the, I get it. By model. the quote unquote gore level in this movie, I'm like, what is this rated? When they when they were first attacked. People, right. I'm like, the guy in the rate? truck. This is gonna be like PG. It's not gonna be anything. <laughs> but then, yeah, there's like a guy all torn up and just covered pieces. in ketchup or something. Yeah, like we see that. at least yeah, like four blood. or five torn up bodies. Yeah, a yeah. family yeah, dies. Two you children don't actually get killed. Get to mm. See him get torn up? No, you don't. No, because like, all you can do is see the like, rabbit like tackle him. Like poor Judd gets attacked by a full on rabbit. He does. And like that guy's like behind you. I was like, you wouldn't see a twenty foot rabbit behind you. <laughs> he gets attacked by a rabbit, and like afterwards, like there's not a scar on him. It's just he's got kind of ripped clothes. Yeah, but he was a good actor. He was like shaking, like he just seen <laughs> he a was. fucking t- big rabbit, dude. He's the best actor in the whole fucking <laughs> yeah. movie. He but wasn't he, great at delivering dialogue, but still, his body. I was like, eh, I believe. Or when he was driving that. that truck for those rabbits, he was. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> big rabbits. <laughs> God damn. Big rabbit, big old Jack rabbit. Uh, yeah, well, I wish they would have got like Jack rabbits because Jack rabbits are like hares. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's well said, good point. Um, so like, I mean, if they if they had gotten Jack rabbits or hares because they're more like skinnier and scrawny, sure, got, like, with the longer the, legs, the longer legs. They, they look, probably were too they, quick they for they the slow mo. They probably the like. They'd probably just go through the set like in two or three jumps. We're like, no, nah, we need these fat bunnies that will kind of like hobble through our set a little bit. Give like, us some time to shoot. <laughs> you're getting your fat Midwestern bunnies. That yeah, they're around. like fat. They're homegrown bunnies. They've been fed in a fucking cage yeah, all their life. They're not, they're not I liked like it, though. The, the yeah. Well, just that part. Right. A little bit more. Did not like the movie. Well, I want to say had, that. They had like the, the sound of the stampeding rabbits yeah. was something right. like this. <laughs> oh, wait, but you forgot weird the drum, weird aborigine. Drums, drums, drums deep in the dark. <laughs> it did sound like somebody was chanting them their way through there. <laughs> it was a voodoo curse. They had like decided music, on. A, music, a musical accompaniment yeah. to their stampede. They did. Yeah, they had uh, a... It was Hans Zimmer. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, after the... Uh, so this is uh, the, the main... The main character. The main yeah, the couple, main whatever. Stuart Whitman and Janet well, Lee are like... Uh, Studying what are they? I mean, like, they're what studying are they? bats. The young couple, right? yeah, bats. Yeah, the young couple. They're like the bats, recording bat sounds. Yeah, which was weird. You know, and like, they wanted like say they said they want to like introduce bats into different environments. Yeah, but see, to like, take, oh, they take care of mosquitoes. Like yeah. they, they, they had an interesting philosophy. They're recording the, the bat sounds, and he's like, "Well, that the, the bat." See, that's the sound of fear. So I'm going to use the bat sound of fear in order to scare the bats to herd the bats toward an area with mosquitoes and stuff like that. So I'm like, ah, you know, I see where this movie's going to go. They're going to record the the sound of scared rabbits. They're going to use that technology that they're working on to, like, use it. That that didn't come into play. No, they, they came up with new technology for the rabbits, the hormone. Yes. The hormone. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been interesting if they used some sound thing. Don't pair. Bad joke. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> Stop the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I apologize. Awkward. Yep. So uh, uh, Dr. McCoy from Star Trek, he shows up in it with a mustache. Damn it, Jim. It's awesome. Bones. And uh, he works for the college. Is he like the dean or something? He's the one that the ranch the president of. Uh, Is that what people do all like? Okay, I see this in movies, especially monster movies all, all the time. They're always like, let's get the college, the head of the it college. Really, yeah. Let's get the like the science at the, the scientists at the college. Because there's no other scientists hanging around. They all like they're all teachers somewhere. Like that's I'm what just, they're doing in the meantime. But that's where they're doing their studies anyway. I guess at least like nowadays, I guess we're just so used to having a government number. You wouldn't go to the local college to meet with the fucking right. professor or whatever, <laughs> you know. But you still do. You find a rock in your backyard and like, what the hell is this? Do you do take that? The, well, we have a museum, Jordy Vero. So I guess you'd take it to the museum, but yeah, I don't know. Like people. This is a broken meteorite. <laughs> yeah. Um uh yeah, so the uh they got the they Ooh. get Bones McCoy or yeah, from the college to recommend the uh the scientists. The young couple. Because he's got a fuck because his horse done died. It was just a tragic horse couldn't uh, see. Ran into a rabbit hole, broke his leg, done. This rabbit egg, there's no, I, I, is there no like coming back from that for mm-hmm. a horse? Like nope. that's just nah. it. Like from it. from from the beginning of horses till now, we haven't figured out something that'll. They're just done. I think they, they're, they're never the, the same afterwards. What was that famous horse that they? Uh, they sea biscuit. Sea biscuit. No, just, <laughs> that's the only famous uh, horse I fucking yeah, know. I, forget, <laughs> I don't know. I forget. Uh, you you, you can. Um, there is kind of technology. The thing is, it's all about. We will make him fast. It's like you can't really fix. You can, if they break their leg, you can kind of fix it, but their the quality of life is not. They're not I mean, good workhorses. Because you got, you got, you got to understand, a horse is like a thousand pound animal, and they got like legs that got to support them. If the legs broken, then they can't support the body weight. And since the horse like pretty much stands all day, can't you put it in a hammock, no. hang it from the ceiling? No. Hmm. Shoot it! Well, oh, there it is. It's dead. It's a terrible, it's easy. terrible life for a horse. Yeah, well, glue, no. glue factory done. There was a dog in this movie. Looked like Benji. Looked Benji. like Benji. Which I want to say that he survived the, uh, the <laughs> rabbit apocalypse. Probably. I don't know. That dog was smart. Nice he ran to away. See some, some, you know. Oh yeah, the only character we cared about. Anybody get like torn up by the. Uh, because all the rabbits would really do is like kind of make out with a person. Or really, I just see that there was no like, like. Animal, humane, like, you no, know, that no didn't exist back then. Um, no, back you there. know when that came about? It was Heaven's Gate, 1980. On that movie, they actually, I, I want to say a couple of horses died, and it's like in the film. And after oh, that, yeah. they formed the American Humane Society. So we could have seen some hurt bunnies here. Oh, I bet we did. So, because in the beginning, they were clearly shooting them in that, like, the, uh, the... In the footage? footage. Yeah. yeah, I think it was stock oh, yeah, those, footage, though. Those are dead. But the, thing, I can't, the thing, thing that kind of bothered me about this, uh, one of the things, is, like, a rabbit apocalypse, like the rabbit menace, right? The rabbit menace, your rabbits, he's basically, the rabbits are eating all the farmland and, and just causing an issue, right? So if the, gi- if the rabbits got giant, wouldn't it, like... You know, you would have to like emphasize that the land would be barren. That these land, that these rabbits are totally just devastating the land. I don't like, think they got the opportunity. No, because this were, like literally man eaters. It's supposed to literally take like over like what two nights. I mean, this movie yeah, like they're like quick. grow big it's overnight, like spread night. overnight. They hang, I mean, the, the they hang on the mine most of the time yeah. until they come out at night because uh, so they get really... dynamited. They do. So that's this the way we, that they're going to solve the rabbit problem is by getting them all in a mine and then... Uh, do. But as we know, solution anyway. it never works. Right, because they they're burrowing shack, animals, do. right? It never works. They're burrowing animals. Yeah. The best way to stop a burrowing animal is to bury it bury in the ground. In the ground. Yeah. 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 Science. They'll never come out. <laughs> Science. Yeah. So that doesn't work too well. Rabbits burrow their way out and into town at night. I'm trying to think like who they take down. Just pe- Judd, random people. They take out Judd. They take out Judd. They take out, well, they take out truck driver. No Judd's main wife. characters they die. They take out the no. miner. Yeah, but wasn't like Judd's wife. He's a at the, oh wait, guy. no, the guy, uh, the uh, the or, the the refrigerated truck driver. That's yeah. yeah, he gets apparently he gets, they took out a bunch of teenagers. We don't know who the teenagers were, but this, remember, this radio frequency about they came through this part of town and everyone's yeah. dead. Yeah, remember there was a bunch of teenagers. 
teenagers. I don't oh, remember there's teenagers. Teenager. There's like four or five teenagers. There's like no teenagers. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. There was a about. family this that a was movie dead. That was made with. There was the, it's populated by old men. Dead. They said teenagers are dead. Of course, their version of teenagers <laughs> may be right. forty year old people. Well, that's the. I mean, I guess when they're saying like the young couple, right? <laughs> all the people who are saying this are like sixty. I mean, these are like yeah, weathered, young guys. weathered old actors, <laughs> which is just kind of it's. Those I don't know. Pups. I thought it was actually kind of cool and interesting in a way that like you know everything we see now has like you know the young uh hollywood set or whatever and this is like old the hollywood. old hollywood set yeah uh, had to save money they were, the they were all kind of slum <laughs> save money on actors for the effects it must not have saved a ton of money mm. oh. Oh, models mm. are pretty good mm. but yeah so they go through and the animals the rabbits escape after the dynamiting Oh, he's looking for a Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> Bar interlude. There, there yep. it is. But they take out a, a like a, they go on their stampede. They right. run through they wreak like a little the havoc. general store. They kill the uh, that one the proprietor's wife. At some point, Stuart Whitman ends up walking. No, yeah. it wasn't Stuart Whitman. No, it was, it was Rory Calhoun. Calhoun. Just walking. He's Locked just walking. Down, he, like, well, his horse died at the beginning. He's got nowhere to get anywhere. Yeah, and like, the, nobody will pick him up because he's wandering around with a gun. Which he throws away. Because they wouldn't pick him up. But he doesn't so go get it. Would you pick up and then he, really, he runs into a town that's, that's got giant rabbits in the store, and he has no way to deal with that. But he throws it away oh, and yeah. doesn't go get it again. The store people were dead. They were. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, that and, was funny. He, like, <laughs> looks in the window. He's just like, this place is a mess. Oh, no, the legs. Are- oh, my God, there's fucking ten giant rabbits in here. It's like, what the hell? Could you not see that? As soon as you left. poked your head inside. Yeah. 30 giant rabbits. Nobody ever notices. Mm. Oh, never, ever. They're always, I like, mean, looking yeah. down until, like... No, because they, when they it's like everybody's still, got tunnel they vision like, in movies. Uh, they could be furniture. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> furniture. Fuzzy, fuzzy couches. Furry, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> could be a bunch of rich women shopping. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Oh, a lot of mink in the store today. Oh, my God. Yeah. Giant rabbits. And, so, and Janet Lee and the daughter wander off in the RV... <laughs> to do something, and they, and they go off roading because right. I think maybe they were sent away. Was a woman driving? Safe. She's from the sixties. Yeah, it kind of it, it kind of got fuzzy at this point. Yeah, no there's, pun there's intended. That's no like, pun intended. <laughs> no it's a perfectly pun. good road, and for some reason she <laughs> takes like a hard right into like the no rocky reason. terrain. I thought that was the road. <laughs> <laughs> Buries the uh, wheels. But that actually did set up like that atmospheric night shot where like the rabbits were all coming after her and she's right. out yeah, there. But they could have done like anything else. She jumps anything, out the I back. ran over a nail. Why yeah. like, yeah, I just ran off the flat road. Tire, like, like hit a rabbit pothole and right. took out the axle. At this point, it's all going to be quote unquote convenient that it happened. Yeah, so you could dude. pick anything at that point. But nope, bad woman driver. That's what they went bad with. Woman driver. Who came up with the brilliant idea to electrify the train tracks? Oh my god, was that Stuart? I'm sure, that was the because I mean that was the guy, right? The guy that was doing the bat test. He's the guy that had all the answers. Wait, what was his name? <laughs> Batman. Yeah, Batman. He's Batman. <laughs> this is a Batman origin story. <laughs> he is Batman. Yeah, but sure. we just watched this and I can't even remember the character <laughs> name. I'm not kidding. I remember, character name. I remember Sheriff Cody. It got foggy That's the only that name they repeated right. a lot. It was Sheriff Cody. <laughs> Sheriff Cody. Yeah. And I've always wanted to use Sheriff But they do. Cody. They call the National Guard. <laughs> Somebody hops in a house. Right. I mean, National Guard. Those giant right. rabbits. Fucking Who's dealt gun. with that shit? They hop in the helicopter to well, go get. Kind of, well, it's kind of disappointing that you know, given the budget, but in them, you know, they use fucking tanks, yeah. and mortars, and it's shit like that, right? Every other city fucking atomic right. monster and every movie. They, they, they got tanks, and what they have mortars. In this movie? They got they had three one guy with, with an no. MP fucking <laughs> armband. And That's stock the footage army. from another movie of the army that had their machine guns. But they got like <laughs> three dudes with machine guns. No mortars. No Some tanks. Guys with shotguns. No. Oh, even, they do, not, they you don't even see a, a jeep. Flame, they did have a flame flamethrower. Yeah, like, but you saw the nose along it. black and white. So. It was. Yeah, there was we a think black that the flamethrower <laughs> shot repeated three times in black and white may have been stock. I thought it yeah. was color, though. I'm pretty sure it, I it saw. It looked like it phased between. I don't know what was going on there. Yeah. Maybe I'm the flamethrower got too close to the no camera. There was no military presence. Well, you're saying there was no... That's because nobody no, believed them that giant fucking rabbits were attacking the what? town. They're like, we'll send a oh, few guys. <laughs> you go look and see if anything's wrong. And when there's not, the come National back. Guard. And the awesome... Uh, they, so they don't have a Jeep, but they, they do have cop cars. 
which do. are apparently just like big sedans with uh, a light bar on them. I mean, yeah. not paint any kind of color yeah. or anything. Oh, they, oh they, 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 what, they, the, they did mention that they had jets with bombers. Ready to yeah. go? In Tucson. They mentioned oh, that's right. the They're bomber on. jets. I got jets on the tarmac in they, Tucson that can be here and blah, blah, blah. blah. You, you made up that sentence. Nobody said that. <laughs> Wasn't it? Didn't the guy yeah. with the MP? Yeah. Kind of. He, t- he totally said there were jets in Tucson. Yeah, ready, ready to, to go. Bomb. Ready to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. but they, they didn't, they they didn't, didn't show use up. it. It'd be too expensive. No. So they got to wait for the train to come through the town, and they hook up the tracks to the nearest power line, and and get all the people from the uh, the drive-in to herd the animals, herd the rabbits towards the tracks. Which is even dumb because all the people were like sitting behind the tracks, like where the rabbits were coming from. That's what I understand. They kept on showing a shot where I I figured, all right, here's like the line of people, and the rabbits will like go for them. But then when the rabbits started coming, the line, the the rows of cars were in the background. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, how is that yeah, bait? I think it's to keep them from going that direction. Mm. Is I think it? It's, yeah, I think the lights, their 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 uh, explanation was the lights scare them into going uh, this I, way. I, I think uh, I, I could be way off on this because I'm not geographically clear on where the military guys were, but I think the guys no with the machine gun were also with the uh, line of cars shooting at the be. rabbits to herd them toward the. No. I could have sworn the, the were they on the other side front. of the trains? Yeah, uh, train tracks. Uh, it, wasn't uh, not it was very fuzzy. Yeah. Right, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get a fuzzy. Very fuzzy. Fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy, fuzzy. This movie's very. It was fuzzy. not clear at all. Yeah. <laughs> huh. yeah. It was yeah. yeah. But then yeah. shit happens, and those rabbits go for the tracks, and and more squibs and sparklers are going off. These poor innocent little bunny rabbits. Innocent, they're movie. gigantic. They really well, were. No, I mean the the actual ones, because you can tell. Like if you look closely, you can see the like their legs. No, it. their legs are tied up. Like they're <laughs> jumping towards it, and to get them to not go over it and to pull them back, their legs are tied up, and they pull them down. Oh, you nice. can only see it in the movie. Yeah, yeah, you can see strings because like sometimes they needed the rabbits to like because they get shocked, so they needed them to, like bounce up in the right. air a little bit. So they yeah, you see a string and they go jack. <laughs> the back legs would go flying. Or there's a pile of dead fake <laughs> rabbits on the tracks that yeah. they have. Other rabbits jump over <laughs> as they're getting shot. It's quite fun. morbid. Yeah, and they, they use like a weird composite shot to show that there's like, t- like, because like there's three thousand rabbits supposedly that are running towards at this least, fucking hell yeah, track at least two or and getting so. zapped. <laughs> In the end, it looked like there was 40. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure. Max. The rabbit budget was not big enough. Rabbit budget. No. Not big. No, because they just keep using keep the same them. model shots of, like... Well, you keep saying that they use the same model shots. There were, like... I mean, there's a there's a significant variety, but I think as the movie goes on, and they use it way too much, yeah. like they, all these slow-motion shots of rabbits running down roads, you know, running past windmill, little model windmills. I mean, it's like... The models are made out of the same stuff that you make, like, you know, your train model yeah. stuff out of. But, I mean, it looks pretty decent. It's lit and nice. Yeah, it does. It I guess that's good. the thing that surprised yeah. me the most about it, that the model work I thought was Actually, competent. Actually, even had, yes. like, wind going on, too. Yeah, it's yeah. a little smoke and yeah. stuff like right? that in the background. Yeah. like the head atmosphere. It was very so, good. But that was, it was surprising because going into the movie, I didn't realize that it was going to be that effects heavy. Because it was 1972, I'm like, okay, so we're before, like, all the effects work of, you know, the 80s and the late 70s. I'm like, this is going to be like... Yeah, this is your first time seeing this. What were your expectations going into it, Colin? Uh, Have you heard of it before? Yeah, no, I've heard I've heard the title, Night of the Lepus. I just heard that it was a bad movie, and, and it, it, it was about killer bunny rabbits, which I thought was just retarded. <laughs> and I think that's probably why nobody sees it, because as soon as you go, like, what's a lepus? It's, uh, it's a rabbit. Which is why... And like, they, wait, they, they made a horror movie about killer rabbits which when is, they scrape in the bottom of the barrel at this point. Which is why they changed the title of the movie to Night of the Lepus. It was originally called Rabbits. Right. But they didn't want to give that little <laughs> tidbit away oh, so yeah, they man. changed it. They changed it to Night <laughs> of the Lepus. They didn't give didn't put rabbits away. didn't put rabbits in any of the promo materials. What? Just called them creatures. Oh my god. I would have been pissed as f- Oh my god. It'd be like going <laughs> to, to hide that fact. Hey, it's like the village. The only way That's they gave it away is that from some of the promotional materials had they gave out rabbit's feet. And I've of, seen the poster, but the poster just has a bunch of like, eyes. eyes in the darkness, like right. chasing the a dude. Creatures. So technically, no oh, one really knew. Wow. Okay, so, still so well, that means to me that like they had no somebody knew. People. Yeah, that after they made the movie, they're like, 
I don't Ooh. know, man. We can't get anyone interested in seeing this movie about <laughs> fucking killing bunny rabbits. rabbits. It's just, it's a bad idea. I think it's executed as well as you can execute sure. that idea. I have to read the book before idea. I call it This that. is probably the be-all, end-all of uh, Killer Bunny Rabbit movies that never no, made one the, sense. The, the best Killer Bunny Rabbit is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Well. That's the best Killer that's Bunny different, Rabbit. That's different, <laughs> to say the least. He is a mean fucking, he's got his chop raise on teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. They have to use the holy hand grenade on it. Indeed. Yeah, but still, that is the best. No full on. Well, you just well, I didn't see at the beginning of this, like uh, unless I totally missed it, like a full screen credit for like visual effects or miniature no. effects guy or whatever. It's because it was probably Janet Lee doing them, like. But they were no decent. Uh, well, I mean, right. like, at the time, it seems like whoever did that probably either came from doing bigger budget work or went into eventually doing something sure. better than this. It was but, like the know. dude from Giant Gila Monster and his miniature work. Went to work doing my own <laughs> It's like, well, all right, I'll fix it. We're not going to have a giant heel monster bust sticking his head through the wall. Giant heel monsters. You're going to have to see Well, movie. yeah, what is this movie? Huh? Oh, so I, I think, mean, I, I know what this movie uh, is. It's a giant heel it, monster. It's either Toxic Waste or I don't even know. It's from like the 50s, so it's another drive-in classic. But a giant heel monster is created somehow by science. And is turned loose on a small town, and it, they have bad models. Whenever they show this, and they have somebody's pet iguana, fucking walking through, you know, like so, like the little tank will pull up or whatever. And the Gila monster like kind of walks, you know, not really not, carrying not past it, but it's supposed to be like, oh my god, and the guys inside are like, oh no, it's the. Uh, I just remember like at some point the, the sock hops the train. Yeah, they're at the sock hop and like all the because that's where all the teenagers oh, hang yeah. out, obviously. And uh, to entertain themselves, they break into song at some point. Fifty song where like the guy sings the song to the girl or the girl. Sorry, I can't remember, but it was like, what the fuck? And then the giant Gila monster shows up outside the window. Uh, yeah. It, it, well, he puts his head in the in the building. He it, puts his head. He busts through the building. So, like, the kids are all dancing, and then there's, like, an iguana head sticking through. <laughs> they're all like, ah! But, like, the, the Gila monster was obviously a pet, so he's just, like, has this, like, uncaring, like... Uh, yeah, it's the most <laughs> non ferocious <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. that's what he's doing. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> or maybe not in a good way, but one of those, Probably like, not. classic bad, bad monster movies. I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. That, well, I suppose that's a wrap-up kind of thing. Well, sure. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're there. Are we there to wrap-up? We're there. Yeah, I think we're there. <laughs> I think we're there. <laughs> All right, yeah, so. it'd be nice to talk a little bit more about this movie. <laughs> I don't think there's... there's... I don't know. I don't know if what? there was anything, anything there was to talk about in this movie. Talk about in this movie. They were giant bunnies. That's they were... disappointing, because while I'm watching it, I didn't get the idea that we wouldn't have as much to talk about. But now going back on it, I'm like, because there's no character... Because the story is basically like, go here, go here, Jim, we're going to go over here and blah, 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 we're going to eventually do this. And, you know, I mean, I was more enthusiastic about it for maybe like the first half of it because it wasn't as bad as I was led to believe that it was. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is it. And the, the end, because the special effects were like, you know, competently done, I'm like, oh, this might be something. And then as time wears on and you just get the multiple shots of, you know, yeah. same slow motion Need to be a little more running point, yeah. bunny rabbits. It just kind of wears <laughs> on you. I mean, the movie runs like a minute, an hour and 28 minutes. Yeah. And I'd say about... Oh, man. What are you saying? 15 of those minutes or more? Or like, if you were to cut, to cut out all the bunny stuff and just Ooh. collect that together, it'd be like 15 minutes. Well, let alone, let alone the, the beginning of the movie opens with like 10 minutes of nothing but stock footage about just the history of how fucking bunnies have like taken over Australia. Yeah. I mean, this movie's got a lot of padding. <laughs> a lot of padding. <laughs> In between, like, not much dialogue. Yeah. Or no, so lots like, of dialogue, just nothing. They even do like long shots like, hey, we hired this helicopter. Oh my god, the helicopter. It's just like, oh my. It's got to take off and fly a mile before we edit the fucking we cut out shot. Of it. It's like, god like, damn it. That, that feels like one of those moments where, like, somebody on the, you know, like one of the guys who put up the money for it had, like, had a helicopter. It was like, damn it, you're using my helicopter. And you're That's but you know, even when I watch TV shows from the 70s, I've always felt like shots on helicopters are so long and boring. They never edit it. It's just like, 
here comes the helicopter. It's right. getting close. It's landing. It's like, fucking edit the shot. Edit. Show me something a little bit more interesting <laughs> no, than a no. helicopter coming in. Production value, production value, production value, production value, yeah. land. But there's different shots to do just, what you know, for your eyes. Invented. What? The helicopter. How long they been? The been helicopter been? invented? Oh, my God. What are we? Uh, I mean, they were in, like, the 60s. The helicopter had to be invented in the... Yeah, in the Helicopter. Helicopters 60s? were rolling 50s, around 60s? in World War Two, dude. Yeah, yeah. something like that, I'm sure. Yeah. And, and, like, it, it went, and by the end of World War Two, they were actually using the helicopter as, like, a... Transport or something? Or gunship? They said the same thing for motorcycles. It was, motorcycles it was, it was like World exper- War it was, it was kind of more, exp- like, experimental weaponry, but it was actually... Like, hmm. I'll yeah. trust Tom on this, but uh, listener, if we're wrong, which yeah. we've okay. been known yeah, to yeah, be, we're not that type we're of show. Not, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Helicopter, yeah. Hel- helicopters are starting to get widely used, probably like in the fifties. Yeah, because as soon as we see, you got to know that they're working on it twenty to thirty years beforehand. You know, we don't just see like, oh my god, the helicopter. Well, you know, yeah. they had the the government has it for a good fucking yeah. forty years before they're like, yeah, they "Hello, were... world! Here's a helicopter." Yeah. So in World We've War been II, hiding this from like you. experimental. So <laughs> yeah. you're late forties. Hmm. Helicopter. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, the final word on this for me is, you know, I didn't hate it. It was amusing. I had fun watching it. Uh, would I recommend it to you? That depends on you know your love of uh, <laughs> of bad movies. I mean, I mean, I guess we're gonna say that it's a bad movie. Oh yeah, oh, right. Yeah. But it's a, it's a fun bad movie. It has there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to like about it. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I feel positive about it. So <laughs> even though you know, <laughs> I was very hippie. <laughs> on any other kind of day, this positive, might hit man. me in a different light. But I, I maybe just... I would. I'd recommend it to. Uh, to people, to lovers, <laughs> to of, do, do you gotta be bitch, like yeah. drunk or Red high lover. or something like that? I, really think, well, I mean, like everything that we watch here, we more. sit and watch this in a atmosphere where there's a bunch of us sitting around like railing on the movie, and it be, it adds a layer of uh, interest to it. If you were watching it by yourself, you know, would it be the same? I can't say. This is how I saw it, and in this environment, I would recommend you to experience it. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, wow, it, it, it's a bad movie. Yeah, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's definitely like a a bad stereotypical drive-in movie. Um, that being said, you know, I mean, again, it, it's it's pr- you know, like by being a bad drive-in movie, it's it's probably meant to be. You know, under the influence, or uh, you know, you're preoccupied doing something else, or you're sitting around with a gr- group of friends having a few beers, just kind of making fun of it. That kind of brings out something. Unless you're in one of those kind of situations, I, d- I don't think you're going to get anything out of it because it's just, it's just kind of dumb, really. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, but that's probably what they were going for. Um, no, they were absolutely. I they were. Like, they were dead serious. serious. They were. They were dead serious. <laughs> and from that aspect, it's like, wow, that, God. Um, I can't recommend it under it. Like, you, I mean, you got <laughs> yeah, under, under fear of death. You got to be like, if you're with a group of friends and you're drunk and you want to see a bad movie and make fun of it, Mr. Science Theater style, see this movie. Otherwise, definitely pass. That's the type of movie that, I mean, yeah, if you watch it with a bunch of friends, it's fun. But, I mean, as soon as you, like, even give it, like, five minutes of its own time to play out, it's like, oh, God, turn it off. <laughs> like, I don't know. This movie is just, like, I don't know. I mean, I remember seeing uh, Joe Bob Briggs play this on Monster Vision all the time. Yep. And that's where I originally first watched it. Plays a lot better with commercials. It than does. While you're Give like, a little break. Not paying attention. <laughs> oh, look. Ford's got a like new car. That. How fun is that? It's the same as the driving experience. You're not quite paying attention. <laughs> yeah. It's a movie to fold your laundry by. Yeah, right? Like, have a cigarette. Look down. <laughs> learn how to draw while you watch this movie. You know, uh, I mean, yeah. The, I mean, <laughs> If they would at least put something, because, I mean, I've always felt like I'm at least a little bit of a target audience for these type of movies, just because I I remember seeing Skeeter from the 90s, or Skeeter. Skeeter. 
I didn't see it. Did you see Skeeter? Yeah, I, oh, shit. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to say there was two in the early night. I want to say there was Mosquito and and Skeeter. One of them uh, was in Manet, wasn't it? No, Popcorn? Remember that movie Popcorn? Yeah, and Popcorn. Is that Mosquito? Skeeter? Yeah, well, I can't remember. I can't remember. Rush Skeeter? That's coming. Yeah, Popcorn? I think it's coming. Weird. Weird. Crazy. I haven't seen that in a oh, long okay. time. Uh-oh. Popcorn's cool. Uh-huh. But, uh... It's cool. I mean... Oh, shit, I don't know. I mean, it's a, <laughs> I mean, it's a bad movie. It's fucking oh, horrible. Yeah. It's just horrible. It's like I can't even like. I was sitting here for like an hour. It's like I can't even talk about Wait, this fucking movie. There's not many movies I cannot talk oh, about at all. It's a hard one. Is it better than Sharknado? Well, yeah. I don't even know if I can make this. It like falls in the same category. <laughs> it's people like looking at something off a screen that they're not going to ever be able to come in contact with, and like, depending on how good. It looks when the camera goes to whatever the fuck they're looking at, and how well it like relates, you know. This, uh, yeah, I also did not feel like because, like, we saw Janet Lee with all the bunnies around her and the whatever. And then, as soon as a guy got close, there was no bunnies Gone. around. It's like, it's like, what the fuck? How you know, I thought it, like at least showed the bunnies run off. I mean, I guess maybe they did. I can't remember. The helicopter no. scared them out. Yeah, yeah something like that. There, yeah, it's yeah. just like, why? Wait, 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 wait a second. I at least want to see a bunny running away. Like, at least one, so I can understand <laughs> that a bunny ran away. It's all those having, like, no, we need this one more shot just to sell the idea that this happened. No. You know, and this, like, lo- like leaves a lot of this shit out. Like, eh, you know. Like, I can see the editors in the room going, Poof, well, <laughs> here's the bunny footage, here's the movie footage. Like, here's what we shot, oh, we here's got. the bunny footage. Just make it happen. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Show another eye. Show another eye. Yeah, uh, the editor was very stuff. sad on this movie. Yeah. yeah. But it was kind of cool. It was kind of, because, yeah, it had those, like, right? freaky like, moments of, like, close-up of bunny rabbits and eyes and teeth. <laughs> Especially the teeth. They had some bunny There's some gnarly scowling. teeth. Gnarly bunny teeth. Yeah. Especially the one that was fro- fro- yeah, frothing. Oh, like, drooling. Like, that, was, that was gross. But yeah, I wouldn't fucking recommend this by any means. I mean, I'm sure you can watch it on YouTube for free or like whatever. No, but... I'm pretty sure we looked up every place you have to pay to watch this movie. Uh-uh. I'm pretty sure you cannot find it for free anywhere. Oh my anywhere. god, why? That's a... That's a... Oh no, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh yeah, because I wasn't going to pay That's for this sin, movie. That's man. You can rent it on iTunes. I've seen like, good like, movies yeah. for free on YouTube. Yeah. Let alone this one's not there. Oh my god, MGM, man, those guys are fucking... It's like $25 on Amazon, it's like, Oh my god, no, what? Not. When did the DVD get released? When's the last time they did a print? I oh, guess. I don't know, uh, nope, don't know. No. I just know it's on there. That's for people who don't remember what it was like. Have they like. done a print of this? Have you seen like a physical print of this on DVD? Well, that transfer it, it either came off... It did, or, uh... it has been on DVD. It took them 33 years to actually put this out on DVD, but it got there. There was a printing. Whoa. Yeah. You can buy it now. I am signed. 15 bucks. Whoa. 25. 25? 25. Out of print. Wait. Go on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. Surf around. Shop dollars. around. Yeah. Shop around. I'm sure yeah. somebody will be like, please, someone buy my Night of the Lapis DVD for $5. <laughs> Just let me recoup some money from this. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not much can be said. It is. It's kind of a bad movie. Um, I, I didn't never remembered it as being top tier by any means, but uh, <laughs> there are scenes that still stood out in my mind. Um, you just can't make little bunny rabbits scary. You can't. You can't, and I think that's the <laughs> big downfall of this movie. One of them. Um, I just I find I've I find the, like the model work that it was fun. It was good. Yeah. Um. It's it's just kind of cool. <laughs> it's it is that movie. It is the it's the last movie at the drive-in that you're all like fuck. I haven't seen this before. Let's sit and watch this. It's kind of perfect for that. Um. It is only recommended to be seen with other people. <laughs> In, in that ironically. fashion, and ironically, to laugh, <laughs> to tear it apart, right. because you really can't sit and watch this by yourself. There's no reason to. Um, <laughs> I think the suicide rate would go up if people did that. Um, so don't watch it in that way. But sitting around with a bunch of friends watching it, it's uh, it's entertaining. I would I would recommend it in that regard. Um, yeah, still entertaining. It's good. Okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, our shortest podcast ever. No, I think we beat this. <laughs> oh, no, we beat that. We beat this, I think, with uh, was it Fight Club Take Two or oh. Creature from the Black Lagoon? I think one of those. Well, Creature was meant to be short, but yeah. 
So uh, next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, Brent isn't here tonight, so he has forfeited his pick. Oh, so we're no. going to move on to Tom. Tom's going to show us what. I'm going to be swinging on a star with Hudson Hawk. Correction, guys. We're going to be watching Point Experiment by just taking this rabbit and putting it in the non control or in the whatever. In the the, the yeah. yeah. But then when can I, I ask for, one? can I have one? They let me take the fucking one. I just switch. It's just like, why would you? That's the dumbest thing. That should be how like Spider Man happens, right? That should be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn kids! So the rabbits get out into the wild and multiply, multiply like, like, like rabbits do, do. Like into rabbits, giant, uh, giant rabbits. And giant so then rabbits. it becomes like eventually we got to bring in the National Guard and all that to deal with it. Oh, it's great, great stuff. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so there's all these people running way. around in this movie, but, like, there's not really, like, any kind of character types. I mean, they're just like, nah. it's Stuart Whitman and Janet Lee and DeForest Kelly. They're all like, just, like, information towards them. it. They're all like, we're going to meet at this street. It's like watching, like, a modern-day, like, cop show, right? You just, like, get in the scene. You just say, like... Here's the lab test. Here's where we're going to meet. All right, I'll meet you there. Take the helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very it's very reminiscent of like the the sci-fi movies of like the, you know, the 50s and 60s like when we did like the those old sci-fi movies where it's like they would sit down, something would happen, and then you'd have someone, a scientist sit down and explain why this is happening, which in this case, it did multiple times. Yes. Except the one time with the scientist, he's like, why are they so big? Are they vampires? They could be vampires. (laughs) (laughs) There really was an option there for about a minute or two. But you know what they think they are? I think they're saber-toothed tigers. You're talking about the forensic (laughs) scientist that explains to the cops what he's about to do and what they came there for. You know, he's like, by looking into these microscopes, we can look at the world in a different light and help study who it's just like oh my take god take a look yourself it's just like that's when it's like yeah they, like there's no character in this whole movie I think there's like one scene where the guy's like oh me and the wife would love that and he like smiles I'm like oh my god someone like broke some character into this motherfucker someone just didn't have information to relay yeah. it was really just like he's gonna enjoy like visiting him at the, at the cabin or at the ranch that year or whatever that's what it's like. Are they populating this with character actors or movie stars? It's like as Ooh, long as shit, you have what? somebody Ooh. in movie there. Movie stars? Well, I mean, we're talking Janet time. Lee. We're talking. We're talking. These people oh, are all kind of slumming it. At the, at the in the seventies, I think that these but are known for people. being the the B horror movie people. You know, Those just like the same way and stuff. I mean, like I don't know if they were in <sighs> horror movies so much. Well, I thought that's what Janet Lee. I mean, aside from Psycho, yeah, but she Manchurian was Candidate and uh, some other prestige. Films that she was in. Sure. <laughs> yeah, for as big as name as we remember her being, I remember her as Psycho and. See, I don't recall her being a big Man, name. I about, remember her just being it. a scream queen. She was just like, eh, hey, fucking have this girl up, pick her up, and like scream your head off, you know? I think that Not was, like she yeah, was I in one she, of those. I think but. that was just for Psycho, to be honest. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't I think mean, she was I've in never... other horror movies. I know John Carpenter put her and her daughter in The Fog, but that was, you know, like the guy who had grown up watching sure. these early things. But, yeah, I mean, I guess like Tom was saying, it does have like this, you know, it feels like because uh, when it started, I'm like, OK, so this is one of those like when nature attacks movies that came out in the wake of Jaws because Jaws was 75. And, you know, then you had like Grizzly and no, you had no, King this, of the Spiders this is, and you this, had, is, uh, this isn't one of those movies. No, because it, this was made it before. It predates Jaws. This, this, it was made in 1972. Feel, this movie feels more like along the lines of like them. It's atomic like, monster movie. Yeah, this yeah. is this is like a giant the bad heel monster. Okay, type. Earth versus the Spider, the Deadly Mantis. Yeah, Deadly Mantis is great. It's, Tarantula. It's those it's giant heel monster movies of like the 50s. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, after finding out what year it was made, I think that, you know, I was like, oh, that's that's what the like it's, tradition it's, is. It's style, it's pacing, it's character development. It's very much like a 50s sci-fi movie. The way there's no characters, the way the scientists sit down there and go like, it's important to be, you can't do this because the ecosystem, you got to have balance in the ecosystem. You can't just wipe the rabbits out because if you wipe the rabbits out, then 
there's no violence. The grasshoppers will take over. The You're grasshoppers right. will take over. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, it's I think just maybe like, that's what makes the difference then between, like, so Jaws actually belongs to, like, in, like, the cinematic lineage, like, the birds. Where, like, it's just this thing shows up and then... Jaws you know. is about a family, man. <laughs> it's a fucking serious, <laughs> But they serious, don't explain man. the shark. I mean, the shark just shows up. Like, right. in the birds, the, the birds just Yeah, the happen. birds just show up. They don't They don't have a scientific... Ex- in, the, in, in the birds, they never have a scientific explanation right. about why the birds are attacking. Right. Where Jaws, Jaws, like, if you read the book, Jaws is about how the mayor actually owes the mob money. That's why he doesn't want to shut down the beaches. I mean, you get a little bit more in-depth with that shit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but I mean, they but then don't, for some reason, Sheriff Brody's like wife the, like cheats on him with the oceanographer. Yeah, that's but the, what they didn't put in the movie. Huh? That's a big part of read the book. The book yeah, like oh, the book is way opera. different. Shit. Yeah. It's yeah. not an adventure movie like the... Uh, no. It's not about the I've, shark at all. I've, I've flipped through some of it, but yeah. The shark, shark is not bad. It's shark still a pretty good book, though. It's short kills. It kills Quint and then swims away. And that's the end. Ding, 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 ding. Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's the difference. It's like these ones set it up that they have to explain like or come up with some kind of kooky scientific reasoning yeah. for the thing being there. Here's the reason why we fucked with something. You know, we split the atom or whatever. Yeah. And because of our meddling, we made nature. Attack. Oh, and this is also based off a book <clears throat> called Night of the Angry Rabbits. It was a year. The year of the, year year of the, year angry, the angry Rabbits. Year yes. of the Angry Rabbits. Year Indeed. of the Angry Rabbits. I and the stuff that, that came after Jaws, though, I mean, like, when you see, I don't know, have you seen Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner? No. I think it no. takes place in Arizona, too. That's why it's like the the landscape of this, you know, with everybody's wearing cowboy hats and the style of dress and all that. It feels like Kingdom of the Spiders. And that one, I don't think, has any kind of, that's the post-Jaws thing where, like, nature just attacks. You know, the grizzly, giants? the, no, they're just oh, a bunch oh, of tarantulas. Oh, oh. Killer, killer tarantulas. That one. Giant? No, no. Just, but that's uh, there's Empire the swarm. Ants. The swarm was, was the uh, biologically engineered uh, military uh, wasps or whatever. Right. Remember the Food swarm? Of the gods. We've got some kind of chemical. I think that turns. Yeah, but see, like, like then you got like a movie like Those Arachnophobia, all... which is actually like a good one. That's more of a, like a comedy. Yeah, movie. but that's from the nineties. I mean, yeah. it's not from that era. You know, it's, it's like you know, just in after Jaws, it seemed like they were doing all sorts of like nature attacks movies. I mean, wasn't that where like frogs comes from? And I'm oh, sure like, ants, yeah. slugs. You ever see squirm. ants? Squirm. Ants, mm-hmm. bug. bug, bug. Yeah, uh, yeah. But this is a weird anomaly from the '70s. It's a reject left over from like the '50s movies, like that and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the one idea that was left on the board for the '50s science fiction movies, and they're like. I just we couldn't think, really figure out how to do that one. Uh, I just think that, that, what do you think? That composite special effect was just like, I mean, it was just like the shit from the 50s into the 80s, right? I mean, they're just like, fuck it, anyone can do this. You know? yeah, yeah. It became you know, like 60 foot women and like killer bunnies and yeah. <laughs> like anything you could make huge and like. <laughs> well, that's like the supreme miscalculation of this movie, I think. And, you know, like. I looked it up on the IMDb and it had it had a rating I think of like a half star. So yeah. I'm like, man, we're gonna be in for some awesomeness. Yeah. <laughs> and then watching it, I'm like, it's a competently made movie. Is it? I thought. Yeah, you know, I mean the the model work made yes acted is, and other such maybe yeah, not, the model but work made. was good. I yeah. will say model that. Work was good. The model work but like was um, for, as a movie itself. No, but I mean the 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 it was pretty well straightforward. Like the players were all. I mean, it's it's a sufficient movie. You know, it's not it's not like doing anything to distinguish itself. But I wouldn't say it's like failing miserably all over the place. And you know, like I've seen some bad. I mean, like the giant Gila monster is a bad movie. Where like the special effects are terrible. The scenario is terrible. Like Sharknado was a bad movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an incompetent movie. Yeah, where it's like they couldn't actually do it. This is like when you see the special effects, it's like they're not awful. And some of them are actually kind of, you know, endearing well, in the little well, miniature well, the work. The problem is, is, like, it's just, they just fucking, they, they just show the shot of, like, the same, they got, like, Slow five motion. shots of, like, rabbits running. And they just keep showing, it's, there's never, like, any shot of, like, you know, it's just a shot of my rabbits being herded on a miniature set. And then close-ups of rabbits' faces. Which, when right? I first saw this as a child, it, like, it thrilled me. Right? And then, the scene, that. The it's scene just with like, Janet Lee and the flare, and it's just showing close-ups of it going to all the eyes. Yeah. Of the That's the one that sticks out in my head from being a kid. You know? like, oh. 
And there, there, there is a few rabbit. instances where somebody gets attacked by a rabbit, which is yeah. obviously a dude in like a suit. Well, yeah, he's like well, a it's rabbit in, like, suit. Super close up, right? Super you see like the guy's yeah. face and some kind of furry thing, like, yeah, like, like you know, clock someone. <laughs> yeah. <a> right <laughs> <laughs> I love all that so, stuff. Uh, <laughs> this stuff was fun. I just thought is. the script had like no heart. Like yeah. it didn't even try to make a joke. It didn't like try no, this to movie make was like dead serious. It was just very idea. like, well, that is a problem. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. I would re- certainly appreciate it. All right. Well, I'll meet I'd you down there about today. two p.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just very so straightforward. Yeah, like, right. yeah. Jesus Christ, right down the line. But I think this movie is this movie is from like the the seventies era of it feels like it be- belongs. In like a drive-in movie, theme. like would be like your it's a perfect drive-in movie. late night, like the last movie of the night. You know, your three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning dr- you, movie. The crowd is full of people who like I haven't seen this. They're, movie. they're this either sp- fucking <laughs> or they're high or drunk or st- they're not. They're not watching the movie. Until there, they see giant rabbits. There actually is a scene that takes place in a drive-in theater. <laughs> in this drive-in movie. And it's probably the most ridiculous one in the movie. Yeah. Where the Attention, everybody. Away. There's a herd killer of giant rabbit. killer rabbits headed oh, this way. Oh, just yeah. killer rabbits. Sorry, they're not giant. Killer rabbits. Headed, do not panic. Everybody, everybody, like, All right. yeah, everybody roll up here. your yeah. windows. Sheriff said so. We're going to use you to herd the animals this way. Yeah, that was weird, right? That's, it's that's, like, that's what they did. They what? recruited the people at the drive-in yeah. to help them out. And they're going to use game. you all as bait? Herd the rabbits? <laughs> Honk Electrify if you the, Everyone uh, honked. I'm so fucking pissed. I swear to God we saw a miniature train. I was like, dude, if you see a miniature train, you expect that miniature to be destroyed or knocked over at some point <laughs> in time by giant, giant rabbit. fucking rabbits. <laughs> Not happen. Right? I was very. I was like, what the, the side fuck? That's the one thing this movie had to do. Yeah. Knock over a fucking train. Yeah, they was What happened that night science made its greatest mistake? What unknown terror was born that night? What is the terrifying mutant? That a strikes from behind the shroud of night. That night. That night of the Lepus. A night of total terror. More shattering than your strangest nightmare. What? Caused the unnatural death, destruction, and panic that night of the Lepus. Janet Lee, Stuart Whitman, Rory Calhoun, and Paul Fix. Night of the Lepus. Kill one, and thousands take their place. What devil creatures growing weight and size every day are hidden behind the eyes of horror? What can stop them? Night of the Lepus from MGM. Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that happens every Saturday right here at this location, wherever you found us, on the internets, or where we watch a movie and then we talk about it for your enjoyment. I'm Colin, I'm your host, I'm surrounded by a bunch of internet radio superstars, including Tom, Travis, Sean, and tonight we watched Sean's pick, Night of the Lepus. From the year... 1972. Directed by... 
Who? <laughs> uh, six, wait, hold on. Uh, so Stony R. Braxton. Brad, uh, yeah, it's, well, that Brixton, it's Brixton or something like that. It's something close. You've never heard of anyone in this movie except for Most Janet well, Lee. No, no, it's, no, no but, it stars Janet Lee, uh, DeForest Kelly, and uh, Rory Calhoun yeah. from a bunch of westerns. And Stuart Whitman. Yeah, you're the only one who knows that <laughs> one. Stuart, is that the guy from Motel Hell? No, yeah. Rory Calhoun. Rory the Calhoun, the, the farmer. The yeah. one Meat's I meat, man's got to eat. Bones. You yeah, Bones. Lee yeah. You know Janet Lee. Yeah, Janet Lee is from Psycho. She she got moited. In the shower. In the shower. Uh, She's Marion Crane. Yeah. She's the... The car. Yeah. So she, everybody's like, what the fuck is a lepus? Is she the young... A lepus. It's the scientific Latin definition of bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a bunny rabbit. Night of the bunny rabbits. Night of the bunny rabbits. All right. So that's the thing. When when somebody shows up at a drive-in late in a movie and says, there's killer rabbits coming. I heard of killer rabbits. I think the thing that they miss uh, including in that statement, and we should, probably should too, is that these are giant Killer rabbits. Yes. <laughs> they're not just killer rabbits, or else that wouldn't be so frightening. They're right. Yeah, I mean, but they're not like. A bigger doesn't really make them frightening, they're, though. They're, I would they're say. giant as in they're not the movie. size of like wolves. They're not. But like, they get bigger. Yeah, they're, they're, like get, bears. they're like bears. They're like bears. They're like bear bears. sized bunny rabbits. Yeah. But it's hard to tell because, like, like, in this movie, giant sometimes. Eagle monster there's no inside. there's no human comparison, really, for the movie. I mean, besides when they're doing the close up fighting. Yeah, and that's when they're kind of smaller. In the cave, they say it's the biggest wolves, but, like, there's some scenes where it's just like, what are you talking about, biggest wolves? things are fucking elephant size. <laughs> right? What are you talking about? Yeah. But I don't know if that's something they were supposed to talk about at some point in time that they're growing a, bigger. I, mm. I just think it's just a shitty model work. <laughs> No, oh, actually, that's great model no, work. Yeah, the miniatures well, though, and the models I mean, are, I mean, I mean, like that might be the, the best mi- part. The, the yeah. mi- miniature work is done in, in a weird, you know, like the size. Sometimes the model work matches up to sh- really show how big they are, and sometimes, like sometimes, the model work makes them seem bigger than what they. Should be, and sometimes they're smaller than what they should be. It depends on what shots they're. Yeah, it just depends on what they're doing. Yeah, the sometimes they're, they're in a store. store. Sometimes they're out in the streets. So, so big sometimes, as well. you know, sometimes they they when they're in the store they don't look that big, but when they're out in the streets they look a lot bigger. So, but when they're in the wilderness they look kind of small. So it's just kind of. Yeah. So you may ask, how do bunnies become so giant? Well, it's simple. Goddamn kids. <laughs> well, no, it, got, well, yeah, it's got a mysterious kid. hormone just sent in by a doctor. Yeah, so what the hell? I'm still like trying to like remember like how exactly they're, they're trying to. There's a to, there's yeah, a well, farmer so, that Calhoun yeah. dude from Calhoun's, Hotel Hell. He's yeah, a he's rancher the farmer, guy. He's the rancher, and he's having a problem with rabbits. It's the that rabbit war like, yeah. of the 1970s, the apparently, war. as the old war in footage Arizona. showed us. <laughs> And so uh, they talked to a couple scientists to try and, you know, it's like, come up, that take a look at them. Yeah the, yeah, the young couple of Janet Lee <laughs> and Whitman. Uh, Janet only, Lee has white only hair. She's got to be yeah, 40 30. something. Yeah. Th- only 43. The young, couple. 40. <laughs> the young couple. But they go to them to try and figure out, you know, a way to stop all this and so they don't have to... Uh, Poison the their ecosystem and uh, destroy half of his ecosystem. On his yeah, because that's that's like the big part of this movie, right? That's the big like like uh, n- nature like story is the idea that everything's in its ecosystem. I mean, if you is- and if you just like take this away, then this will pl- run uh, rampant. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Run rampant. And so the rabbits are running rampant, and so they. They get this hormone. They capture a couple of them, and the scientist does some experiments on them. They get this hormone from we, we don't, don't know. know. Some doctor sends it. It's, it's a doctor that he sent it in this morning. It's in a test tube. And if this does, that screams. What I hope it does. <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's the explanation. I wish I knew what the get. reactions to this serum yeah. were going to be, but fuck but, it. Yeah, but then there's the if if one of these rabbits with this serum serum should get out. Heaven help us! <laughs> like what? What kind of experiments are you? Doing? Well, they're like trying to. Well, they're know. trying to like fuck with their hormones, trying to like right, basically to, give them all sex changes. Basically, yeah. It's so they stop breeding. Somehow this relates into like uh, growing huge. The hormones make them grow big. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hormones do. They do yeah, they make you grow big. It should have been like the Nutty Professor, where they just turned into cooler rabbits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, same rabbits, just with sunglasses. Yeah, that would have been fucking good. dicks. Yeah, and then it does all come down to those damn kids, because the one kid in the movie, a little girl of like ten, 
She wants to take a... Uh, it's the scientist's own fucking daughter. That's yeah. what really makes I me mad. I want to take a rabbit home. I want to take one of your science fucking <laughs> projects home. Well, we can't put all okay. the blame on her. There's that asshole other kid who's just like, no, get rid of it, put it away. Well, but she like, did, like, it change away. it. They understood. She, wa- she, she did. should be around... She's been around scientist parents for 10 years right. at least yeah. now. She sees them inject this thing with this ultra rare. They explain what is a controlled and yeah. a non-controlled. Yeah. she's there. They explain it. And then she's like... Benefit. You know what? I'm going to fuck their 